Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven, and this is Visions of Mana, and uh, we are at the Dark Archives, and, well, <sighs> we found uh, the Vessel uh, of Darkness, but it's uh, keeping a building up, so we need to find a scribe to make a replacement for it, and hopefully we can get it then for ourselves. Also, apparently there is a Benevadon hidden here right at the location where we might find some information that uh, we can use to stop Dalefoss. So there's a lot of things we can do today. Let's see how much we can tick off the list. First, the replacement support. Where are you? Excuse me, I'm supposed to ask you about a structural support for the courtyard? Can you help? Mm -hmm. Support? I don't know if we have any replacements stored away. Hang on, aren't you the one in charge of getting new ones? I wasn't given any official requisition notice from management. Restocking these things takes time. I keep trying to tell them. Though, it is the scheduled maintenance period for the courtyard. The entire building could fall and crush the documents we have on file. There's a record of just such a tragedy in the past. A large number of tomes and the scholars in charge of them went missing after a freak accident. They were caught up in... Oh no. I can't waste any more time. Forget about the history lesson. What can I do to help now? Well, if you can find an object of equivalent length, I'm sure that will work. There has to be something here in the archives. Let's see here. The courtyard structure needs a post exactly 68.1 centimeters long. Thank you for taking the trouble to assist us. We hardly ever see such friendly visitors in Lagrazzo. Friendly, huh? You don't have a lot of helpful neighbors here? A hazard of Lagrazzo's locale? This gloomy place doesn't lend itself to cheerful company, I'm afraid. I suppose a soul guard from Tiania, such as yourself, may be predisposed to helping people. Is it one of the criteria from which they decide who to send with the alms? Or maybe... Not another long-winded tangent. I don't have time. <laughs> Hold that thought. Gotta take care of a few things. Yeah, we gotta find an object. Right, so if I were a building support, where would I be? Guess it's back to the archives I go. Hey, uh, mind if I take a look at your broom? Oh ho! I see that you too are a connoisseur of sweeping implements. <laughs> this broom here is over 400 years old, a favorite of one of the more famous alms of darkness. Wow! How is something so old in such good condition? Can't you guess? Not a single one of us scholars cares a whit for cleaning. <laughs> oh, we have not touched the broom for centuries. So it's a decoration? Well, I'd love to get some use out of the thing, but it's too long. My pity. It is a marvelous instrument. Then maybe you should, you know, tidy up? <laughs> ah, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I... Uh, come to think of it, why do we keep this broom? I should do some digging and see if I can find out more. <laughs> it just needs more knowledge. Uh-huh. Well, remember, the corridor structure needs a support of exactly 68.1 centimeters, no more, no less. Yes, I know, I know. We'll uh, look everywhere. Ooh, that's a strange looking person. What's that thing for? You mean this wooden scoop? It's for water, of course. Really? I think the ones in Tiania are different. Yes, well, you have access to forges in Tiania, do you not? Metalcraft is far easier to come by in a town blessed by the powers of fire. Oh, that makes sense. Other places don't use as many metal tools, huh? I believe we have all learned something from this exchange. Speaking of which, have you need of this scoop? Nah, I'm looking for something to use as a support post. But that's a little too short. And flimsy. How disappointing for you and the scoop. <laughs> so true. Hmm. There are probably a great many differences between the craftsmanship of Tianian products and our own. I should go check out the journals I found detailing the travels of. 
A new face? Splendid! Me? Why, I'm Bon Voyage, legendary inventor <gasps> and eccentric genius. Bon and Voyage! This is my fork of unusual size, a giant's fork. A what? A giant! Large, hulking, humanoid monsters, you know? You do know, don't you? From storybooks like the ones that Hina used to read, but not as guests at the dinner table. I didn't think they'd need forks. This is proof of the existence of giants. Or it might be an oversized tribute to the goddess. Or a fluke manufacturing accident. <laughs> Whatever it is, it has great historical value. I didn't realize it was such an important fork. Too bad, since it's the length we're looking for to shore up the building. Why didn't you say so? It's yours! But I can't use something of great historical value as a support post. Never sacrifice the now for the sake of the past. What matters is providing for the future. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? When you put it that way... Okay, I'll try it. All right, now to take this back to Aish. Hmm, I got the fork. Yeah, and bon voyage? Finally! Mm. This should be the perfect size. Now it to take be. it back to Aish. If he's finished with his conversation, that is. But yes, Bon Voyage, he was the guy that invented the cannons that allows you to travel everywhere in the mana games. <laughs> I love the fact that he's in here. Hope he isn't inventing uh, more of the same type of thing. Hmm. Uh, I will put this sorrow away, but I believe my time will be better spent researching the origins of such equipment. Uh, so that was going to be one of the other objects uh, we could use. Ah, the scribe is gone though. Hmm, go forth and take enormous fork. Use it to save all of Lograzzo. <laughs> the fork at the counter, at center of the uh, protection of Lograzzo. Hmm, quite fitting. Alright. And hopefully it will give us what I want. A new vessel. And they're still talking, if you can't believe it. Oh, I can definitely believe it. Um. We'll resort to brute force, stop conversation if necessary. <laughs> Master Ace is uh, not to be deterred from any matter of merit. Uh. Oh, if, if I could compose a whole symphony in time it takes these two to get to the point. Sproutlings are like nothing I've ever seen before. There is so much we could learn, so much we could study. You said you're of a very advanced age, correct? <laughs> the regenerative plant-like properties in your genetic makeup might have something to do with it. Or perhaps... Oh, you're back! Finally! Sorry, it took a while to find something usable. The diminutive nature of sproutlings might be an evolutionary means to conserve energy within a small frame, according to a treatise I read last year. Val, you have the replacement, right? Tell me you found something. It's not exactly what we wanted, but I found a giant's fork that could fit the bill. Oh, yes, the support! I nearly forgot about it yet again. Do you mind? We were chronicling our newest discoveries on the growth cycles of sproutlings. Keeping your city from crumbling is more important! I suppose we might as well replace the support post now before we become even more distracted. Let's see. A relinquish oversized fork times one. Mm-hmm. A fine post, I must say. Make a note to replace this again exactly 1,460 days from now. Val, in acknowledgement of your services to the Archives, I would like to present you with the old support. Thanks, but we don't need your leftover junk. We do. Goodness. Look at it. I believe this item would be better identified as the elemental vessel, Shade Sight. How fortunate. Hm. It appears that luck is on your side, Val. 
They used an elemental vessel to prop up a structure? We use the tools at our disposal to fix problems as they arise. But I digress. We are finished here, if I am not mistaken. Let us make our way to the Tome Spire, as promised. Finally! <laughs> Let's go! <sighs> I doubt that Aish and I will ever see eye to eye. I doubt it too. How do you manage to keep up with someone like Aish, Palomina? We have been friends since our youth, and fellowship begets forgiveness. He has not changed. So, you've known each other for a long time, then. So, that's one more elemental vessel for us. Let's see what else Aish has to show us. <laughs> Obtain the Shade Sight. It means all classes should now be able to be unlocked. Awesome. Elemental Vessel Shade Sight. The wisdom of shade, the darkness elemental dwells within the shade sight. It is capable of influencing the gravitational pull of objects. Press RT to swell your gravitational force and pull targets enemies closer to you. However, try this against uh, large enemies and you will be pulled to them instead. Leverage this to imminent shorten the distance between you and an opponent. Sounds like we all had a tough time with this little adventure. Better gear up and make sure I'm ready to take on the Passagean Tome Spire. We have. We definitely have. Alright, I thought that was going to be something we could play around with. Oh, well, then uh, I guess we are ready to move on and get to that dungeon. Oh, let's talk to everyone first. Uh, did you know what? I have poor defense that Sproutling had to go through while you were gone. Do you? I did. <laughs> I tried to hurry up. Perfect. Oh, the Passagean uh, Tomb Spire may merit a detour to stock up on supplies. Uh, already taken care of. Um. Sorry, you had to take care of the lost errand on your own. I should have gone with you. Mm. Eh, the people here seem uh, fine replacing a staff with a fork to replace what should be a supporting post. <laughs> Definitely. Alright, let's get, get to the top. Get into the tower and unlock some classes. Ooh. Come on. Thank you very much. I cannot see a grizzly and leave it if it's that close. Nope, <laughs> there's not a grizzly. Alright, I wonder what kind of enemies will be in there. And I wonder what kind of level they have. Will they be all like 28 and 30? The Tome Spire was built by the Grand Archivist, Passagean. Stored within its depths is the forbidden book we seek. Passagean is said to have tamed the malevolent monster Zenoa, employing it to protect his collection of knowledge, including that tome. But before I digress further, let us go forth! Say what now? Together? Didn't you say there were monsters in there? I am aware of the dangers. Are you the sort that would leave a colleague behind? Or do I not count as a colleague, as I am not one of the alms you are charged with protecting? My safety is irrelevant to your current objective. He's worried about your safety, and that's why he wants you to stay here. Don't assume Val's indifferent like you. Aha! Uh -huh. I believe I have a solution. From now on, you may consider me a friend. Surely the bonds of friendship are reason enough to bring me with the rest of the group. Now that that is settled, shall we climb the spire? Let's. The nerve of <laughs> some people! You can't just come and declare yourself someone's friend. It's got to be a mutual thing. My companions, calm yourselves. Aish is also an accomplished magic user. He will not slow our stride. Palomina, I know you like the guy, but keep in mind that he cannot be dissuaded once he has made a decision. <laughs> uh he has all the makings of becoming a great arm. Uh, besides being a bit irritating with all the talking, but uh, I can live with that. Wow, I've never seen so many books. Oh, the Grand Archivist Passagean recorded every single bit of knowledge he possessed. He preserved it all here in the Tome Spire, so that his wisdom might endure beyond his lifespan. Oh, a scholar's dream. Every one of these books is full of stuff this Passagean guy just knew? There are more texts here than someone can read in a lifetime. Hmm. I don't know. 
I bet I could get through these while keeping watch over the burrow. And how long were you intending to do that, Julie? Hmm? Gracious, I was almost entirely swept away. But we have a mission to complete. Avoid what skirmishes you can, and keep an eye out for the Forbidden Tome. No, we won't avoid skirmishes. We want those skirmishes. Besieging at uh, Tome Spire. What is up with this place? The bookshelves move on their own? Pasagene's mastery of the magical arts knows no bounds. He devised an entire structure to protect his knowledge, and to this very day, it's... Oh no! Looks like Ace is falling behind! <laughs> Anything they can do to uh, make him uh, <laughs> pay attention. Alright, we definitely need to interact with that, but since we are in here, I think it's time that we play around a little bit. Yes, two more classes to see what uh, it is. And uh, with a little bit of luck, we might have a new knife class, meaning we can play around with that. So let's uh, start with the light uh, one. Ooh, very sophisticated. <laughs> Spirits are calling to me. Sovereign. Then the counterpart. His darker side. Same weapon, different outfit. <laughs> I'm eager to try out my new skills. Uh, the Sooth Sayer. Alright, uh, let's uh, unequip that. And let's uh, pick up the next one. As you might have guessed, we're gonna well, change things up a little bit. The Arc Mage. Uh, this will be the last class reveals, I bet. Oh, I bet I enjoyed that. Ooh, that's real good. I like that outfit. My new power? The Reaper. Yeah, I would love that uh, the party will end up with for here to have at least uh, a wood uh, with us for the tree. The tree is really good. Clerk. Alright, what's the darkness gonna be? Necromancer, <laughs> very dark for one so little. Well, two more people to go, and then uh, I think we're gonna look at the elemental plot and see what kind of skills we can learn, and then see which ones we wanna pick for everyone. Because I would love to have a summoner in, in there as well. A 
knight with shining armor. I feel the power of the elements. Ah, Paladin. <laughs> A dark knight. Siegfried. Is this my new power? Ooh, a berserker. And uh, he has one up on the berserker uh, here. Lancer and the final one Ooh, a very cute one The Maverick. Alright, let's have a quick look at the elemental plots. I'm uh, very curious to see if there are any new movesets for certain classes. No, it just seems like moves in general. What's this one? Ooh, increase it all. Hmm. Let's see what kind of interesting things are amongst that. A cursed spell, annihilate. Summons multiple ghosts and dealing strike damage to an enemy. Summoning bumpkins. Mm hmm. Interesting indeed. Mm -hmm. That's the one I've been using. Have yes, you can stay with no. I want you to go dark. I'm starting to twig it. The elements are all around us. I'm starting to twig it. Okay, that's good. Then you, well, we might as well keep you on fire, right? Considering the points and all. Mm, we could make you wood. May this cultivate our connection. My bond with the spirits virgins. May this cultivate our connection. Yeah, and he is very low with 162. So we might want him on one of the classes that he knows how to use. Just getting started. And with you. Why not? Good job, 
All right, nobody went over the limit, so no clovers were used. All right, let's just uh, equip all of that. Necromancer. And the Star Lancer. Alright, that's good. He's the only one that needs to change his tomb, uh, potentially. Summon a needle beak. Why not? So, who's the team uh, we're gonna take with us? So, we can stick with the one we have, and then after tower, we can change. You know what? I wanna get Val in there. Why not? It's fine. I think we have our team, and all classes are unlocked, so that's perfect. So, let's see how it goes. Uh, where did where did we go? Did we just teleport through that stone? Nice, got it. Wow, that's very very intriguing. I kind of love that, to be honest. Gravity warp. The shade signs can be used to move to areas you can normally reach while warping. You can simply employ the vessel to warp multiple times in succession. RT. To uh, well, do that thing, all right. So where's the first one? There has to be a place we can use, it, right? Very intriguing. Uh, let's see if we can get back. Too high for us. Well, hello. The duck bears will love you. Ah, that's actually a really interesting way of using it. So, where is the R thing? Look like it's supposed to be on top of there. Or is there a layer we not seeing here? Hmm, interesting. Alright, let's move on. Because I cannot see what it is. So hopefully with a little bit of unlock for the story, we can see what, what it is. What is going on? Why does this area look so warped? I can't tell up from down. Oh, marvelous! I do so enjoy the experience of stasis flux, though I have only been in here once before. There are many theories, but we have no concrete proof of what causes this distortion. Mayhap I will solve the mystery one day. It could be linked to instability in the flow of mana power, or perhaps a byproduct of benevidonal interference, or even a trap laid by Passagean himself. Great, we got it. Time to move on. <laughs> ah, and our first enemies twenty six. Oh, that's a little bit in my form. Oh, Ash tends to say that when it's going on one day. Two diverse means to deviate from the original plot. So when Ash is progressing, he's talking about other subjects. Is that so? Well, in that case, they put everything they say. Um, the soldier's resolve never swings. I'm still kicking it. Yes, you are. First, let's grab that. We need your help. I'm at full strength. Oh, wait. He's really hurt. Didn't even uh, catch him out. It must have been the explosion. Uh, 
Ah, so it was uh, the war place. It's because we used it to start uh, everything off with. We didn't actually use it. Gravity grip. Employing the gravitational force of the shade side to pull things towards you. Experiment with this amazing power to discover different ways to influence objects and mechanisms in the archives. I like this lace. It's really this different. This construct becomes curiouser and curiouser the further we progress. Aish doesn't seem bothered by it, but the whole place is strange. I must make a point to mention these phenomena to Aish at a later time. I hope he has answers for you. A gravity grapple. A gravity grapple can provide opportunities for you to progress that you might have noticed. Use your momentum to jump at the right amount moment and swing to your destination. I am very intrigued. Nice, got it. The dud bears will love this. Nice, got it. <laughs> More things to unlock. Yeah, this place is uh, very wild. I'll take this. I need you. Nice timing. Alright, where do next? Mm -hmm. Well, there's the... Ah, there it is. We can abuse the books. Is it just me, or is Morley being more curt than usual? It's not just you, but I don't think he's realized it himself. Oh, then I suppose you and I must keep a close eye on any further development. It's good to see you and Julie getting along, Karina. <laughs> What have you got? Interesting. Yeah, and that's the good thing for having things marked on the map. Because if we forget something, we can easily go back. Nice, got it. Oh, that was really hard to see where it was the where the floor was. Don't mind if I do. Mm hmm. I'll be taking this. Very cool. We're leaving people behind, but I'm sure he'll figure things out. Nice. Got it. This looks promising. Very. Ooh, specters. <laughs> I might have gone a bit overboard. Okay, good. Uh, let's see where's the next part. Where can we attach? This is where it came from. Uh, just a little bit out of reach. So I'm guessing it's gonna be here. Karina, is your companion by any chance one of the legendary sacred beasts? Is this the first time you noticed Ramco was here? Apologies for the late introduction. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Ramco. <laughs> Yeah, and, and let's be honest, there is a lot to see here. Okay, so we could go back. Very cool. Yeah, and with all these teleportation, you don't know how far in the tower you are. You could even be at the same place, but just on a different angle. Right, 
perfect. So make sure we don't miss anything. What? Hopefully we get so impressive. Ooh, a silver dart. I'll be taking this. Thank you very much. We Still have a few so things hanging here. Ooh, Alexandrite. Mm, another class we are using at the moment, so we gotta make sure we remember to check. Uh, can we go back? Uh, how can we? A little bit backwards action, but uh, whatever right. gets me to my goal. I'm at full strength. Should have watched my step. <laughs> yes, but it was worth it. We got what we needed. Thank you very much. Sure. Ooh. What the hell? Uh, status effect silence. The status effect silence will make your character be unable to cast magic. This will be especially inconvenient in characters who rely heavily on magic spells in combat, reducing their overall damage output. So basically destroy them before they do anything like that. It's useless to run. We need to press on. Uh, and now comes the question. Is it permanent or temporary? Ooh. Yeah, I thought you were a swing. Which are words that I didn't think I would ever say to uh, a game. Now I want to use it officially. Don't waste too much time on this. <laughs> Don't get cocky, Van. Some are just easier than others. We're making strides here. We already went up a lot of floors. I'm just hoping that uh, if we do reach the end where the monster is going to attack us, that we do get an indicator. Uh, and this could be it. I can go another round. Yes, you could. <laughs> All right, let's activate the tree. A fine opportunity to rest. All right. Let's see what this tells us. Not much. Hmm. Nice, got it. 
Ooh, that's a very dangerous looking door, isn't it? I wonder. Hmm. I'm intrigued. We have arrived. The book we need should be in here. Hmm. The disaster prophesized for this region may have something to do with the presence of monsters in the Tome Spire. But how inspired is it for Passagian to have utilized such misfortune for his own purposes? Zenoa is a sight to behold. Now is not the time for observation. It's time for action. Oh god, went straight into a boss fight? That's okay, we can handle it. Putting monsters in his place is a bit extreme. I don't think this monster will go easy on us. Shame that we must dispense with such an intriguing subject. Mm, yes. <laughs> Alright, make sure we don't let's do it. I thought it was an on one. Gracious one. <laughs> Ooh. Let's be careful. Might as well use it now, so maybe it will recharge before the end of the fight. When you do twice a lot of damage. Oh, that's not a lot of damage. So we need to make sure that. Ah, oh, we couldn't go out of that. Oh, that sucks. Um, I can help you. Immune. So the one element I have is the one we should not use. Ah, oh, come on! We're trying to get out of the way. The wrong button. Don't panic. We're fine. That's really intriguing. Bottles here. Now with the turning of the room, I imagine. Use the chocolate. Don't hesitate to strike. Is it getting weaker? Master Ace, we have finished with this monster. 
monster. Have you? Oh, yes. I have reported all the relevant data. Uh, feel free to please. Allow me to Really, I'm gonna twist and turn again. He got it! Nicely done! Oh, I was really fortunate that we had in the water claws in here. Very, very cool, but confusing fight. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. Hmm, yes. After extracting the requisite essence from the components, the saturation level should be... Yes, I had not even begun to think of that technique. Passagean was truly a genius. Once the substance is soluble, we will have the compound, correct? Indubitably. Then finally the crystallization. It's all right here. The key to our success. The methodology is flawless, but the information is outdated. I believe with some adjustments to the necessary ingredients. I see. It should be possible to procure these provisions. Should we be having this conversation in a monster nest? Careful, Morley. One might say you sound jealous if they didn't know better. I'm not jealous. <laughs> Let them talk about weird science experiments all day for all I care. He's jealous. Fine, fine. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Eureka! I believe I have struck upon a method to weaken Dalefoss. But first, I must consult with Bon Voyage. While I discuss the finer details with him, you must gather the ingredients necessary for the elixir. Uh, ingredients? What ingredients? I must be off. Palomina, explain it to them. And there he goes. Do not worry. I know what elements are essential to the execution of this endeavor. Shall we? Let's shall. Do we get instantly teleported out of the tower? Yes, of course. There are three ingredients that Aish would like us to acquire. First, the croak of a frog. Next, a striped egg, only laid once every thousand years. Finally, the fur of a chatty cat. That's a tall order. Where do we find all that? Didn't Aish and that other guy talk about all this junk earlier? You know, when Val was looking for the support post. Right. I did hear some mention of stuff like that. And I wasn't tuning out the conversation, at least. I think we'll be able to find all of it right here in Lagrazzo. Aish ordered us around, then hightailed it out of here. Though, I guess we are the ones asking for the favor in the first place. Palomina, I had a question for you. How would you describe your relationship with Aish? Really? Do forgive me for forcing you all to toil at the behest of my associate, and with hardly a hello from Aish himself. I suppose that I consider him my trusted tutor. I quite admire his capacity for learning, and his passion for attaining knowledge. At times, Aish comports himself like a mature intellectual, and at others, I confess, I consider him like a brother brimming with curiosity. But perhaps what I most appreciate is that even after my ascension to the throne, Aish treated me the same as always. Yes, he is a close companion of mine. Oh, I see. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. Morley, you should have asked to talk to her in private or something. Give yourself some alone time, you know? Your plight has stirred the muse within me. <laughs> I think I'll write a song about you. Don't worry, I'll perform it for you first. 
What are you two going on about? Please accept my apologies for any affront that Aish may have afforded. I should have warned everyone about his abrasive nature. There you go again, acting like the big sister. Come on, everyone. Let's hop to it. If we split up, I bet we can find all these ingredients in no time. I hope so. But not today. <laughs> That's three ingredients we need for the elixir. We should be able to find them in the area. Better start looking. Yes, but uh, we're gonna start looking on the next episode. And it is funny that uh, Morley has n no tact when it comes to his feelings, isn't it? He just straight out and asked because he wanted to know. It's cute though. But yeah, he is falling for Palomina, it seems. But we can explore that in future episodes. For now, we're gonna leave it here. So I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time. So until then, bye-bye.